Hi creatives, I am Dima and you are welcome to another interesting sewing tutorial. In this sewing tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how to make this gorgeous trendy booboo dress that you can see on the screen. This tutorial is loaded and you will not want to miss any part of it. So, without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. The highlight for me is this neckline. Yes, this V neckline. <laughs> how to stitch it to get a perfect V like this. And of course, the sleeve. Oh, you want to know how I got a perfect attached sleeve like this. And I made this using six yards of Ankara fabri fabrics and of course, this chantilly lace. I ended up using about five and a half yards of the Ankara. Okay, so here is the back basic pattern because that is what I am using for this. Yes use your bag basic pattern i had to pin it down like this you can see how i'm putting it down and you can see the back tightening i did not observe it so this is how you're going to place yours and just go ahead and do all the things i'm going to do to achieve this pattern now the first thing to do is to take the length of sleeve that you want just go ahead from that shoulder tip measure the length of sleeve that you want i got 17 and it got to the end of the paper i had to come up here by half inch and that is what is going to be my slope more like the slope of this is half inch not the regular one inch okay so i had to take it to the length of the sleeve which is about 17 inches and here i took about 10 inches okay i took 10 inches 10 and a half inches so I'm going to cover it like that. Now the next thing to do is to go ahead and get to the hip line and take as wide as you want it. Now what I used here is 5 but I finally reduced it. I finally reduced it to about 3 and a half. Okay. So this is what I have because my client does not want it to be really big like a regular booboo. But at the point I made this marking, I did not put that into consideration but you will see where I reduced it. In the course of this tutorial okay so right here i had to draw this and the next thing to do is to go ahead and cut it out so i'll cut it out this is not the length of the bubble that i want but i will make it up when i am done so i had to cover it more like this because of those you know steps that i wanted to add so i took two, two inches and two inches again yes because of those added sleeve that is what i'm drafting right here you can notice the stylish addition on the sleeve that is what i just drafted to two inches i carved it out from the regular sleeve so i had to cut it out like this this is not the length of the bubble dress i will make it up in the course of this tutorial you see all of that so right here, I had to remove the back pattern and go ahead to drop the neckline how I want it. I dropped the basic neckline and then I took about four one quarter inches from the basic neckline. Now, from this side of the neckline, I had to go in by half. You know, this is a basic neck of about three inches, three one quarter. So I went in again by half to form a V neckline like this and I cut it out. Yes, that is almost all we need for this tutorial note that you can draft your back pattern directly on this white paper before doing all of this alteration now watch how i am folding this fabric because if you fold it the regular way it is not going to give the length full length of this booboo dress yes it is not going to give it so i had to you know place it on cross grain like this so that the full length will be it will be enough for the full length okay so right here, I am cutting out this addition on the sleeve and I will keep it aside till when we will be needing it. Now, the next thing to do is to push it in like this. Okay, you can see how I pushed it in. So, and I left half inch. I want to leave half inch at that center front. So every other part I am cutting with, you know, half inch. I size this side that i am cutting with about one one quarter inches okay so every other part is half inch so what i'm doing here is to just get equal measurements 
from that hip line till I get to the downside. That is all I did there. And I had to use my chalk to make it visible. So I'm taking, I'm adding the extra length I need because the length of this paper is about 36. I just added extra 26 inches to make the 60 inches that I need and I added extra 2 inches. So what I added extra is 28 inches. Extra 2 inches for hemming and then 26 for the extra length needed for the booboo dress i hope you understand so right here i'm just taking level of my pocket of where the pocket will be so and the level i took here is just your front waistline pearls about two inches that is all anything that the front half length is plus two inches that is the level now the opening the pocket opening is eight and a half so i had to put a notch as well there so while stitching the side that place will be open now the next thing i'm going to do is just to cut this center front so that i'll be left with just half inch at that center front okay now this is to give us a perfect v neckline okay you can't compare this v like when you cut it on fold that is the simple truth and you are going to see what i mean in the course of this tutorial and even how to stitch it so the next thing to do is to go ahead and fold the fabric again the same way to cut the back because the front at the back for boo boo is the same yes is that easy so right now i am going to pin it down watch that i ensure that the half inch i added is out okay the fold is in the half inch is out because i'm not supposed to you know consider that half inch for the back the back is closed i'm not going to you know make a line at the center back it's only for the center front because of the perfect v neckline that i want and because of the pattern that we are copying okay so right here i have cut it out this is the front and the back pattern perfectly cut the next is to go ahead and cut the facing so i'll just go ahead and fold fabric and then cut the facing of the back first and then i will cut the front so you can see the pieces from what i have already done so far i had to fold it it's on fold right now and i am going to cut the facing now this is how to cut your facing i've cut it out exactly and then taking the shoulder line as well so i'm going to smoothen it like this the width of a facing is about two and a half inches or thereabouts okay it can actually be wider it depends on what you want to achieve so having done that this is the front pattern i'll go ahead and place the fabric like this just watch how i am placing my fabric cut it out like this to cut the front facing and that is just it at the shoulder there and having done this i'll just leave it like this i'll just put a notch on the shoulder to show me that this is the shoulder so that i don't confuse it with the center front so you can see what the facing looks like i will structure it with this okay this paper gum that is what it is called that is what i'll be using as interfacing for this i will also use it for the sleeve so you can see me numbering the sleeve one and two yes that is so that i will not interchange the position of the two sleeves okay this is very very important so the next thing is just to go ahead and pin the sleeve like this and then cut it out so after cutting it out we'll be putting notches strategically okay so that we don't mix up this pattern having done this you can see what we have as the pattern i'll go ahead and cut again because it will be self-faced self-facing means that the fabric is also being used as the lining okay so i will put a notch one for this number one and put double notches for this number two and of course where the notches are is where these two patterns will be joining each other so having done this i'll place the first one on chantilly and cut out like this because i want one of them to be covered with chantilly like this so i'll cut two of this chantilly for the two sleeves that is what it is so yes this is the pattern and i'll go ahead to cut the pocket so i had to cut out those parts okay from the pieces already from the fabric remaining i had to go down by two inches there and mark the pocket entry i'm just drawing my pockets okay 
I will tell you what I did. Now, this is the depth of the hand. Okay, if you get like nine or nine and a half, just add two inches to ensure that your pocket is perfect. So, if you get nine, you're going to use 11. Ensure that this measurement I took now is 11. And please, at that pocket entry area, it's just pocket entry plus two inches. That is what I did. I have 10 here. Remember, my pocket entry is eight inches. Okay, that is all I did there. And I'm just going to angle it out just like your dad's there. It has a way of making your pocket to lay flat after attaching that half inch that thing that i did there yeah here okay so i had to go ahead and cut the second pocket so what i have here is four pieces of the pocket so here i am cutting out a part that i have this flowery design i'll be using it for the chest pocket okay so here i am cutting it in a way that i will have half one inch seam allowance and half on the two sides and of course the bottom I hope you understand the one inch will be the upper side and the half the two sides and of course the bottom part of the pocket so this is what i have so far and i have interfaced it just as i said the interfacing i used is of course the paper gum not gum stay okay this one is called paper gum so right now you can see this is the black and white version is the same thing i showed you the black one the black one wasn't enough so i used the white version that i have to complete it so these are the facings for the back and of course for the front i've also applied interfacing on them so i'll just keep the back like this place the facing like this and i'll be stitching it notching and top stitching as usual okay so and for this one i'll be placing the facing like this stitch notch top stitch okay that is the rule here so after doing all of that, I will show you the next step. So here I've stitched, notched and top stitched and you can see what it looks like. Ensure to iron where appropriate. And this is the front part and I've also stitched the face into it and I've top stitched as well. So you can see what it looks like. I'll go ahead and get the second part of the front. I'll place it like this and go ahead and stitch the way I am positioning my you know the direction of my finger movement that is how i'm going to stitch this so having stitched it i'll go ahead and notch there and of course reduce any bulk that we make that area to not relax the way it's supposed to so after stitching and reducing the bulk and of course notching this is what it looks like you just go ahead and iron and you can see how perfect this v is now that is how you get your perfect v neckline especially when there is a line running at the middle front just as like the pattern that i am trying to you know make the style of the dress i'm trying to make so the level of the pocket for the chest pocket is about 11 and a half to 12 inches so that is what i marked right here that is where i'll be placing this chest pocket but i'll first of all stitch in one inch there but before i start stitching this pocket and all of that i'm going to be working chantilly all around the pocket to make it stylish and to make it match with the chantilly lace that we have on the sleeve that is the idea okay so because what we are copying is not exactly is not made with ankara actually so this one right here is the chantilly and i'm going to gather it all around but before then i had to stitch it like this and trim it off yes i had to fold it like the regular fold and stitch it trimmed it so that we have just three quarter inch left so right here i had to form pleats round and this is what we have if you want to know the measurements like the length of this chantilly mm, that will be round the pocket times two so i'll go i've gone ahead to stitch the entrance of this pocket by one inch i used one inch to hem it and this other side i will be stitching with half inch aside what i'm saying just watch to understand what i'm doing so i had to place it on the right side of this pattern on that level that i marked earlier i'm also taking about two inches two and a half inches from that center front that is where i placed this pocket okay 
from the shoulder it's at the level of 11 and a half to 12 inches from center front is about two to two and a half inches so i'll stitch down the pocket and you can see how lovely is looking already so i'll just go ahead and place the back on the front like this then this is how i'm going to be stitching the shoulder watch what i'm doing okay after stitching it this is what it looks like i had to go ahead and stitch here and stitch here as well just to keep the facing in place it's not going to move when you do it like this now after doing that i'm going to hem this with one inch and after that i'm going to be closing here when i get to this point i will stop and leave the pocket and three and of course stitch from there downwards till where i want the slit by the side to begin it depends on how open you want your slit so feel free to choose what you want for the slit opening of the side now if you watch here you will notice that i have reduced the size yeah i reduced it by about two inches of what it originally is from the side you can see that from what i trimmed off because my client specifically said that she doesn't really want the booboo to be big 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 like regular booboo okay so having done that i this is the pocket and we are going to be working on the pocket so i've gone ahead to stitch around the pocket and of course serge it the next thing is to just place it along that pocket and three. This is how I'm going to place it. We've been putting a lot of this kind of invisible pocket in many of the clothes I've been making lately. I know you'll be familiar with this if you have been watching my videos. So this is how you're just going to place it and pin it down. Ensure that it is well positioned like half inch above where the pocket entry started and of course half inch below it as well okay so this is what it looks like i've gone ahead to serge the side with the roughness of the pocket and all of that i've searched everything to make everything look neat and i have closed up the sides as you can see and this is what the pocket looks like so the next thing is to work on this addition this added part of the sleeve okay so i've gone ahead to stitch it down you can see how i stitched it i stitched one side notch top stitch and then closed up the second side the next thing is to turn it inside out just as i am doing it's that easy guys so after turning it this is what we are going to do you get the you know what we just turned out of course i've ironed it you can see how flat is looking so i'll position it like this and trim off the excess yes it's going to be in excess because we reduced the side you remember so because of that i had to place it like this and trim the excess after trimming the excess i'm going to close up this side like this i'm going to stitch it like this and also serge now after that this is what it looks like looking so beautiful i've done that for the second side of the sleeve you can see it there now the next thing is to use the hand needle and thread mm. of course this needle is threaded like double threading so that the stitching will be strong so i'm going to just go ahead and hold it like this and stitch it really nicely i'm going to stitch it really nicely like this stitch it strong you don't want it to pull off when your client is wearing the dress so you have to stitch it strong so after that i'm also going to stitch this upper part so that is what the style looks like is that easy okay so when i stitch this upper part i will also do the same thing for the second sleeve just watch through and see what i did so i stitch here and the next i'll be doing will be the second sleeve just watch through if you've not subscribed to my channel guys you are wrong at the stage because here on the channel i share lots of beautiful sewing tutorial videos that you will always learn from they are detailed they are easy to understand and of course you will be learning a whole lot from them so do well to subscribe and turn on your post notification 
so that you know when I post my lovely videos. So you can see how I attached the second part of the sleeve. I'm not going to like leave it like this. I am going to still stitch it down the way I am doing right now. So you can see how I got closer there and I am also tacking it. I am tacking it in a way that you will hardly see the thread. Yes. So be that careful while tacking yours so that the thread will not just be all over the place. So you can see what it looks like after attaching. I'll put it on the dress form and show you what it looks like. This is how gorgeous it looks. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.